Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tide here. I am back from vacation, I feel great. I was gonna make this video before I went on vacation and then I decided to start it early. But anyways, I wanna have a talk today about, um, I, I don't know, because it's such a weird topic to talk about, but it's basically the player counts, obviously, between the Master Chief Collection and Halo Infinite. Now, it's very hard to get any type of Xbox numbers, anything from Microsoft. There is, like, the official Microsoft Top 50 Games Played thing. So I will be using that. And then I'll also take a look at the TrueAchievements.com Top 40 Xbox chart for May 27th, even though today is the 28th. So that's when I'm... I'm it is 3.16 East Coast time when I'm looking at these statistics. So bear that in mind. But before we get really too deep into the video, I just want to say thank you all for the support recently. The channel has been doing very well. I do appreciate it. I know 90% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed. YouTube yells at me all the time to let you guys know that. So if you love Halo and you want a place to, you know, enjoy Halo content, this is the channel for you. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. All you have to do is hit subscribe. It's very easy and it makes a world of difference to me. All right, let's get into the actual meat and potatoes of the video. As of 11 minutes ago... Halo Infinite has 2,456 players, with a 24-hour peak of 4,369, and for the last 30 days has a peak of 6,229 players. This is on Steam. The Master Chief Collection, same time frame, 3,110 people playing, with a 24-hour peak of 4,853. And in the last 30 days, a peak of 8,688. Now, if you look at the True Achievements page, it has Halo Infinite at 18th on the most played games on Xbox, and the Master Chief Collection being at 24th. But then the actual Microsoft page only has Halo Infinite on there. And according to that, it says that it is the 30th most played game. Which, I will say, the Infinite numbers have been plummeting with the... I guess, death of seasons and the move to operations and content updates, which I don't think is surprising to anybody. They may sit there and say, why, Hollow Tide, is Halo MCC averaging more players? Well, the one reason we just said before where it feels like Halo Infinite might be on its way out with the communication. I don't think that it's really inspiring a lot of desire to play. MCC has mods, and I think that's a huge reason why it has a more dedicated player base. Obviously, it's fun to hop on Halo 3 or Halo 2 and play some, you know, PvP multiplayer stuff. But really, I think mods are what's going to keep that game alive and have a steady player count, even though 3,000 is not world-changing by any stretch of the imagination. Like, I do wish Halo Infinite had some type of mod support. I think that would be amazing. But I don't think that this needs to devolve into the Bungie versus 343 arrow stuff because I think that it's a lot deeper than that. Personally, I, I am happy that people are still enjoying the Master Chief Collection. They are still enjoying those games. There's definitely a dedicated fan base around them. You know, I love those old games. I'm thinking about doing my playthrough, my yearly playthrough of all the Halo games in order this summer instead of waiting until the winter time when I normally do it. But the vibes feel like it's time to hop back in there. Now, we do have the Xbox, you know, game showcase thing in June, just like a couple weeks away at this point. Actually, is it even weeks? And there's been a lot of rumors and leaks and conspiracy theories of people saying that the Master Chief Collection's coming to PlayStation, Halo Infinite's coming to PlayStation, there's going to be Halo stuff at the game showcase, Certain Affinities game is going to be at the showcase, it's going to be on PlayStation, blah, 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 blah. And I do think that you would inherently see a, at least, I, I mean, a doubling of the player count if you add mcc to playstation i think is absolutely feasible i mean it's only you know four thousand people at that point i'm sure there are four thousand people across the world with a playstation that would like to play halo another thing i think about is the not necessarily untapped market of the asia side of things but i definitely feel and anecdotally remember reading that the playstation is just so much more popular over there and it really does feel like Halo is confined to North America, Europe, and South America. 
And I would love to see, you know, people have the ability to play Halo for like the first time just because their preferred console was, you know, PlayStation. Now have the opportunity to play the games. And what would happen if like, you know, a top five team came out of Japan or something for HCS? Like that would be sick. But that's if Halo Infinite's available on there. But MCC, even still, I would love to see, you know, people experience that for the first time. I think that that would be great for the franchise to be completely honest. I know a lot of people have mixed opinions and feelings about, you know, Xbox exclusives going multi-platform and everything. I get it, but like to me at this point, I would just like, I think people should have the right to play games wherever they want. I don't know, it's such a hard, I, I get it. I know a lot of people feel like their Xbox isn't worth the money if there are no exclusives on the Xbox. I understand that as well. But yeah, who knows what's going to happen in the next few weeks. I just I just thought it was interesting to see how MCC is still popular, especially on PC because of the mods that you can do. I wish that they could bring them to the console side of things. I don't know if they're working on that at all, but I think that would be greatly beneficial to that player count. Again, I think that... You know, there's probably another 3,000 people on the console side of things that would play Master Chief Collection if they had access to the mods. It's just little things that you keep adding on to the player base, and then, you know, maybe it kind of snowballs into something more. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This was kind of a rambling video. If you made it to the end, I want you to leave a comment down below saying Snorlax, because that's a big cat Pokemon. I will catch you all around the ring. Peace.